What's going on, movie meals? This is what I have to deal with, guys. We're here to talk about Before I Fall. No. Mm. No, I don't think that's what we're talking about. We're this talking is my about big jug of water. <laughs> we're talking about Kong Skull Island. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, man, we're here for Kong Skull Island. Just got out of it. You want to go first or me first? Why don't you take it away? All right, well, I, re I enjoyed this film a lot. I enjoyed yeah. it for a few reasons, and that comes all down to the big man himself, Kong. That's why you're here. The fights are epic. He looks great, very realistic. I thought the CGI was great all around. I thought the cinematography looked great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, probably, that's the biggest thing. I came here for <laughs> Kong, and I got lots of Kong, and that's what I wanted. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want a King Kong movie, this this is the King Kong movie. Like, right, right off the bat, they're going to show you Kong, and throughout the whole movie, that's what they deliver on. And he looks awesome. He's big. He's ginormous. He's mean. And he's just incredible to watch. All the fight scenes are awesome. And I especially like that they had enough screen time for all of the cast that was involved in this movie. I actually thought that they did a pretty good job at making us at least care somewhat about these characters. But at the same time, they also knew, all right, this is a King Kong movie. We're going to go all, all out with King Kong, but still have these characters at least a little bit relatable, where it's still at least more fun, but it's still at least uh, relatable. Yeah, so negative time. <laughs> I mean... There's not a whole lot to really critique on Well, the this. biggest I mean, positive is you get the Kong. You yeah, get the exactly. Fights. You get a lot of fun with King Kong, pretty much, is the biggest takeaway from this movie. Um, but as for negatives, I thought, I thought a few shots were weird. A little bit of the CGI in some moments, I could kind of point out and just be like, that doesn't look that realistic to me. But it's not within uh, when they show King Kong, though. King Kong was actually the best CGI throughout that whole movie. It was just little bits and pieces of other things that was in the movie. Um, but overall, though, I mean, it's fun when it's supposed to be fun, it's cheesy when it's supposed to be cheesy, uh, the characters are relatable, and you get a whole lot of King Kong, and it's so much fun to watch. Um, I didn't, I, the character's not relatable whatsoever. Oh, They're really? They're absolutely a waste in this film. <laughs> Every single one of them. No, there's, there's abs, there's not one person you relate to. Hmm. And you know why? Because they don't set them up very well. I actually thought they set them up pretty good. They didn't set any of them as up. Good as Except for, like, movie. John Goodman, who's like, I'm a crazy forever, I'm ready to find monsters. Well, that was no, good. No, I, I, Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, uh, Jason Mitchell, so many actors I really like. Mm -hmm. And they're in this because they're having a good time. They had fun making the film, and that's great. Yeah. I'm glad they all got paid. I didn't relate to any of them. I thought the, the best one of all of them was Brie Larson. Hmm. But mm -hmm. I thought a lot of the dialogue was actually brutally bad. <laughs> I th or not a lot, but I thought there were few moments where it was it was, it was was Batman and Robin bad. Ooh, wow, it really? was Oh, yeah. It was not delivered well because, and it wasn't, oh. it was mostly the script, but they kind of knew what they had. But that's not why I came to this film. I came yeah. here for King Kong, and that delivers. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what you're talking about, the CGI. I didn't get that feeling at all. I thought it was beautiful from start to finish, but I didn't think any of the characters were relatable. And I thought what would have worked better is if they didn't have those the characters fight. There are, there are moments of cheese, and it is in, entertaining. Yeah. But if had they just crashed... And they were, and Sam L. Jackson was like, "I want to go find my man." You know, Chapman's meant a lot to me. And they f find out he's dead. If he was like, "All right, we should all leave." You're right, he's dead. I, I wish he, he wasn't dead. But this like vendetta against Kong, I didn't think worked. I thought if the story would have started from them all landing, finding each other, and then being like, "We need to get from this end to this end. Let's do it." Yeah. And running into John C. Ryle and everything works. And just have that be the whole movie. The whole po is to is to get over there, and. If if they did that, where it was just the focus, let's constantly get over there. Maybe just take a few minutes, but they didn't need, they didn't need to have the the fight between each other. And okay. you could just have Kong showing up at different times. I thought that would have worked much better. Yeah, I did think some of the dialogue was pretty bad, and I think the performers kind of knew it because you could just tell. <laughs> and you you could tell there are moments they're like, I don't really know what to do here. <laughs> we'll um, just roll with the punches. Brie Larson is the best of all of them. I mean, I. The, yeah. I, I I didn't go into any spoilers before I saw the movie, but I, I heard a couple of basic reviews from people, and one person said something that I thought worked very well. It was like, it was like you're eating celery, but you dip it in ranch. You don't want the celery. The celery is the characters. Mm -hmm. The ranch is Kong. You don't want the celery, but all that ranch makes it so much better. And I thought that's that was a great like when I heard that I was like oh interesting. But after coming out, yeah. I agree with that. That's the best thing about movies. So many has everybody has so many different opinions. 
And that's just the opinion I fell on. I didn't think the humor worked. There were a lot of times you could tell they were like, we're ready for the big laugh. And, and it, it didn't, didn't get it. Yeah. I thought that yeah. was a little bit better than what I heard. I heard that it was just completely flat. I thought there were moments and jokes that did work. Yeah, I agree. But I was there for Kong. The final battle is awesome. Yeah. And man, if, we're staying away from spoilers. But if you guys stick, or, stick around to the end. After credits, there's an after mm-hmm. credit scene. And that is worth it. I am gearing up. We know Kong and Godzilla are coming, man. Yeah, for I'm sure. gearing up for that. So yeah, those are, those are my negatives. Hey, good negatives, man. Overall, though, what's your <laughs> score? Man, I love when you have good negativity. <laughs> it's just the best type of negativity. I don't like bad negativity. <laughs> Only, good, Only negativity. good negativity. I really, I did enjoy this film. The fights were great. There's a small, or there's a moment in the middle where it's a little too long with these characters. And I mean, I do like them. I, I enjoy seeing mm-hmm. Tom Hiddleston and Brie Larson and everybody on screen. So I definitely did enjoy the film. Um, I'm actually going to give it an 8 out of 10. That's enough for me. The Kong fight. Okay. And I just, I didn't really care. Like, the characters died and I didn't care. That's why they weren't relatable and it didn't work for me. Because oh, okay. I didn't really care about them. But I still, you know, they're still there, so I enjoyed them. I'll watch Tom Hiddleston and, and Brie Larson and anything. Brie Larson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like Brie Larson. She is talented and very attractive. <laughs> and on that note, I will go a little bit lower and give it a 7.5 out of 10. This movie was fun to me. It had good action, good cheesy moments, and I enjoyed myself watching this. I had a great time. I'm Kyle. I only have a little negative. Alex is like 15. I'm going to give it a lower score, but I'm pretty sure I enjoyed it more. Weirdo. All right, guys. What did you think? Do you agree with me? Do you agree with him? Do you hate both of us? I don't know. We'll have to find out when you comment below. All right, guys. Do that commenting, that liking, subscribing. Share this video all around. We got Kong this week, Beauty and the Beast next week, we got Power Rangers the week after, and then Ghost in the Shell. We're going to have videos coming every week now. All right, guys. Mom, thanks for watching. See you, guys.